Derek Spall alongside Trey Burke here at the Fanatic Authentic Players Lounge. Trey, how are you doing today, man? I'm good, man. I'm glad I got the opportunity to sit down with you. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate the opportunity. So, jump right into it. You just finished your first professional basketball season as yeah. a member of Utah Jazz. Yeah. Take us through the year. Well, it was a up and down season for me. Uh, obviously, I got hurt in the third game in um, preseason this year, and I had to sit out for about 12, 13 games. And uh, that was kind of tough for me because you know, I hadn't been injured since like middle school. You know, sitting out and having to watch the game is different than actually being out there. So, um, you know, I just tried to do whatever it took to be ready to get back on the court. And you know, when I did, I think I had a solid season. Uh, I'm expecting bigger things this year. Though. So, and like you said, being injured just a couple of weeks before the season and having to watch the team start the year 1 11 must have been frustrating. How were you able to just remain positive and stay focused? It was definitely frustrating. Um, you know, obviously, coming out of Michigan and from high school, you know, not experiencing losing as much. So, uh, you know, I had to learn how to, you know, grow from them, lo them, them losses. And then obviously, being 1 12, 1 13, coming back, and then. You know, it, it getting a little, getting a little better. You know, when I came back, it, uh, you know, I just tried to stay in there, hang in there. You know, I had some, some down nights sometimes. You know, you lose on the road. You know, have to, you know, go back home on that airplane flight. You know, you got a lot, a lot of thinking to do. So. Um, you know, it, it's been a great year, though. You know, I'm looking forward to next year. How were you able to just get in that rhythm? You know, kind of that adjustment coming back. Well, yeah. well, it was, um, it was tough because, uh, you know, it was my first, it was my rookie season, and um, you know, having to deal with the injury, and then, uh, you know, being thrown right back into the exactly. fire when right. I came back, being thrown right into the starting lineup. You know, I had to make sure I was, I was prepared to come back and um, perform to help the team win. And what have you been able to learn from guys like Derek Favors and Gordon Hayward yeah. to help improve your own game? Well, um, you know, those guys are, are like vets to me. And, uh, you know, they, they already had the experience in the NBA. They know what it, what it takes to win. They know what it's like to lose and uh, having to deal with that. So, you know, I just talked to them, you know, when I had an opportunity to, you know, ask them a lot of questions. And, uh, you know, they look out for me. Like you said, you played collegiately at the University of Michigan. You had a stellar sophomore campaign, which you led the team not only to the national championship game, but you ran away with all four major player of the year awards. What was that like for you? It was a great season for me. Um, you know, I had worked really hard going into my sophomore season. You know, after thinking about going to the NBA after my freshman season, and um, you know, I think the, it, I made the right choice. Yeah. You know, to come back. You know, my coaches, my coaches staff. You know, Coach Beeline and those guys, uh, my family. They felt like you know it would be it would be you know better for me to go back to school, get another year of education. You know, mature. You know, on and off the court, and I think it definitely paid off. And how did playing at the University of Michigan prepare you for the next level? It prepared me, you know, yeah, in a very great way yeah. because um, obviously with the schoolwork, you know, having to, you know, discipline yourself, being away from your parents, you know, that was my first time really being away or living on my own. So it prepared me for that, the professional realm, and. Um, you know, now that I'm out in Utah, I'm, you know, I'm really out there on my own now. So, I, you know, I have family coming out there from time to time. But I think Michigan helped me out a lot because it matured me, you know, into the uh, young man I am today. And it speaks volumes of Michigan basketball. I mean, Michigan Carey just drafted. You have Tim Hardaway, yeah. Ben Robinson, Nick Stauskas. It's just a great legacy of continuation. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. I, I'm proud to say that I, I went to the University of Michigan. You know, a lot of people ask me, you know, are you from Columbus? You didn't go to Ohio State. You know, but I think you know going to Michigan was the was the best choice for me. It was, uh, you know, a rebuilding process when I first got there. You know, now it's kind of like a basketball school now, and um, you know, I'm I'm glad to say that I was a part of that. And Trey, you battled through adversity and fought through obstacles on your path to the NBA. When you look back at how far you've come, what mm -hmm. goes through your mind? Man, it's surreal. It really is because three years ago I was in high school, so you know now I'm in the NBA or going into my second season in the NBA, and uh, it's, it's surreal, man. I I thank God, you know, all the time. Think about think about him all the time because I wouldn't be here without him. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Just a couple questions about yourself, Trey. What are you listening to before a game, man, to get you pumped up? Uh, I kind of got a mix mix playlist, man. I listen to I'm a, you know I listen to some Tupac. Okay. You know he he motivates me. Uh, I listen to J Cole. Um, you know, Meek Mill, yeah. a lot of guys that, that, you know, motivate you. You know, I think that's what is really important for me, you know, going into a game. I try to get my mind right, get prepared for, you know, my matchup and uh, the team. So um, I got a mixed playlist, yeah. man. I, I, I didn't even name all the rappers I listen to. There's too many. You know? <laughs> I, I love music. You know? There you go, man. Music's big for a lot yeah. of people. Have you ever met some of those artists? Those oh, yeah. I've, I've, met, yeah. I've met a lot of artists, you know, yeah. just being in New York, you know, Training out in LA in a couple of weeks, you know, you see those guys. And, um, 
you know, they know who you are. And it's crazy because three years ago, like I said, I was in high school listening to them. And, uh, you know, now they, you know, they're big fans of mine. So, you know, I'm just going to continue to work hard. Pretty surreal, man. But yeah. My final question for you, what's one thing about Trey Burke that not many people know that you can share with uh, I would say probably my real name is Alfonso. Okay. And I, um, they call me Trey because I'm the third. So, yeah. you know, uh, that's what I go by. You know, my mom been calling me that since I was knee high. So. That's one thing. You're leaving out, man. You're Amsterdam next year, aren't you? The left and the right hand, man. Yeah, I, um, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, well, not really. I can't oh, write can't, with my yeah. left, but I, you know, I'm triple I, basketball. I can, yeah. you know, obviously, obviously. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that, I used to do everything with my, my my father used to have me do everything with my left hand when I was younger. So I think that helped me out a lot. There you go, man. Very versatile, Darius Sloan, Trey Burke. Yeah. I appreciate yeah, it, man. No problem. Thank, Thank you. Man. Thank you.